What is going on everyone? My name is the California Cougar and today, oh boy, get ready for some ranting because I'm going to be talking about some of the worst movies of 2019. Now before I get into it, keep in mind, film is subjective. I'm going to have films on this list that you might like and there might be some films that you dislike that are missing from this list. So just keep in mind, it's all subjective. These are just my personal worst movies of 2019. Another thing is, this is going to be another two-parter. Yes, this list is big enough that it will be a two-part video. So today I'm just going to be covering the dishonorable mentions and numbers 15 through 11 on the top 15. And then either tomorrow or Friday, I don't know when yet, but that's when I'm going to put up the top 10 worst movies of 2019. So yes, I've got 39 films that I'm going to be talking about over the course of these two videos. Yes, 39! That just shows you how bad this year was in terms of film. It really wasn't good. It could have been, like, again, like I said in my best of the year video, people were hyping it up to be like the next 1999, and it didn't even come close. So yeah, lots of disappointments, and I'm going to be talking about some of those. But anyway... Yeah, so I've got 24 dishonorable mentions I need to talk about. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the dishonorable mentions for some of the worst movies of 2019. Starting off, we have Replicas. The first really bad movie I saw this year. Man, Keanu Reeves, I don't know what you're doing, but it's a good thing you had John Wick 3 and Toy Story 4 coming out later this year. I'll just say that much. Yeah, made absolutely no sense. Up next we have Glass. M. Night Shyamalan, you're a hack, okay? You really are a hack. Other than The Sixth Sense and Unbreakable, and I guess to a certain extent Split, but even that's a bit of a stretch, he's not, he's not a good director. The Visit sucks. This movie sucks. Glass is terrible. So yeah, M. Night Shyamalan, please just stop. Just stop. You're not good anymore. You're a has-been. Up next we have... Serenity, one of the dumbest movies of the year, terrible ending, terrible performances from McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway. Might not be the last time you hear from those two on this list, by the way. But yeah, terrible, terrible movie. Up next, we have one of the more disappointing movies of the year, Velvet Buzzsaw. This was Dan Gilroy's second collaboration with Jake Gyllenhaal, I believe. And it sucks because, yeah, they did Nightcrawler, one of the best movies of 2014. My number three of that year, I think. And they went to this. <sighs> Let's hope their next collaboration is better than this. Up next, we have, oh boy, this movie almost made my list. What Men Want. <sighs> yeah, basically take what women want and turn it into, like, a uh, stupid, feminazi, drunken girl comedy party movie. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Anyway, up next we have the remake of Pet Cemetery. Oh man, yeah, Stephen King, he's so his movies are so hit or miss. This especially when it comes to his horror films. This one was definitely a miss. I'm sorry, Doctor Sleep was better. Up next, we have The Curse of La Llorona. Oh boy, my buddy Mr. Garrison's going to be pissed that it's not on my list, but I just saw so much worse this year. Either way, this movie still sucks, and they got I can't believe they got the director of this movie to do The Conjuring 3. And yes, I'm calling it The Conjuring 3. I'm not going to say that stupid, dumb, long title that they got for it. But yeah, of all people, they got the director of this movie. Up next, we have, oh boy, Big Roles Reversed, Little. <sighs> Shazam did it better. I'm just going to say that right now. Shazam did it better. But yeah, basically take the concept of big and completely flip it. And by completely flip it, I mean not only are you making a big person little, but you're also taking away the heart, the charm, the charisma, and just the like all the good humor that big had. This movie has absolutely none of that. So yes, stupid. Up next we have, oh boy... It wouldn't be a worse list without this company being mentioned. Under the Silver Lake from A24. <sighs> yeah, another pretentious garbage 
stupid, nonsensical movie that A24 loves to make. And yeah, it's not the last time you'll be hearing from them on my list. But anyway, yeah, this was the director of It Follows, I believe, another overrated horror movie. But anyway, up next, Ugly Dolls, one of the worst animated movies of the year. <sighs> singing, 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 and more freaking singing. It's so freaking annoying. Just stop. <sighs> but anyway, up next, extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. Yeah, more like extremely lame, shockingly tedious, and boring, because that's what this movie was. Next up, we have, oh boy, get ready for some hate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see some torches and pitchforks coming my way, but... I'm sorry, I did not like this movie. I thought it was really stupid. Book smart. I'm sorry, I hated this movie. I really did. Even the second half. Like, it got better in the second half, but it still wasn't very good. It's not memorable. Like, I don't know what is with these coming-of-age films. They, Like, this one at least does kind of have a plot, even though it's stupid. But yeah, stop with the super bad nonsense. Like, every coming-of-age movie tries to be super bad nowadays. Good Boys, another comedy, did the same thing, and it, I didn't think it worked, although I do think that movie is significantly better than this one. But yeah, Caitlin Dever, Beanie Feldstein, I can definitely see a bright future for them, but other than that, this movie is absolutely horrible. The humor does not work. Billy Lord, oh my god, I wanted someone to put a bullet in her head. She was awful. But yeah, Booksmart, trash. Up next, oh, another teen horror movie, Ma. Uh, stupid, stupid, stupid movie with some of the dumbest characters I think I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Like, these guys just keep going back to Ma's house. Why? You've seen so much creepy stuff already. Why are you going back? Stupid movie. Up next. Oh boy, this one was a heartbreaker for me. Dark Phoenix. Oh man. Yeah, I have a feeling this one's going to appear on a lot of worse lists. And it's easy to see why, because it's so bad. Jennifer Lawrence, oh my god. Yeah, ex-women, get that feminazi BS out of here. Stupid. Jean Grey, not a good character. Man, and especially after First Class and Days of Future Past were so good. And I thought Apocalypse was underrated. This was just a heartbreaker for sure. So, such a disappointment. Dark Phoenix was bad. Up next, Men in Black International. Another big disappointment. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth, you're not Will Smith, dude. You just aren't. And, yeah, these movies just don't work without Will Smith. They really don't. Yeah, it's just cheesy, it's dumb, it's boring, bland. All that good stuff. Up next, we have The Kitchen. Oh... Basically, Melissa McCarthy trying to make a crime mob film with a bunch of stupid shenanigans, dumb villains. Bad. This movie was just awful. It almost made my list. It was that bad. So many dumb scenes. Up next, <laughs> one of my guilty pleasures of the year, 47 Meters Down Uncaged. This movie was so bad it was funny. It really was. A fish screaming... <laughs> and of course you have the scene where it rips off Deep Blue Sea with that shark just jumping like 10 feet out of the water to eat the eat the dad character that's trying to help him escape. <laughs> it was so funny. And like also the flare gun the flare gun scene in the third act where she's like <sighs> Oh my god. <laughs> like I could watch this movie all day, but there's no denying how awful it truly is objectively it's one of the worst movies of the year but man is it fun to watch up next oh boy another one that's gonna get me some hate it chapter two yeah it chapter two years too freaking long this movie was two hours and 49 minutes it did not need to be that long yeah you know you want to know a movie that did it better <laughs> avengers endgame yeah right here i have the blu-ray for it over here as well like, actually, I'm not going to bother finding it. Screw it. Um, but yeah, Avengers Endgame did it better. Enough said. And also, Spider. Screw you. <sighs> Stupid movie. 
Up next, we have the Goldfinch. Oh boy, this was from John Crawley, I believe, the same guy who did Brooklyn back in 2015. I mean, Brooklyn I thought was a bit overrated, but not nearly on the same level as this boring snooze fest of a movie. Up next, Terminator Dark Fate. Stop with the Terminator movies. Just stop. They're not good anymore. They really aren't. Just stick with Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Stick with those movies. Just ignore the rest of them. Just, like, especially this one, which takes everything great about Terminator 2 and just throws it out the window in the first five minutes. Yeah, Arnold, he does what he can. Sarah Connor does what she can. Other, everybody else is pretty much just wasted. The villain's terrible. Not a good movie. Up next, Arctic Dogs. One of the dumbest animated movies I think I've seen in a very long time. Like, come on now. This was the best you could come up with. Yeah, Swifty, Jeremy Renner, Heidi Klum, what are you doing here? I think Alec Baldwin's in this movie as well. Like, ugh, I don't understand what people are doing with these animated movies. They're not good. Anyway, next up, oh boy. Oh, the hearing this name is going to trigger one of my good buddies. Charlie's Angels. Oh, man. Elizabeth Banks shoving feminazi propaganda down our throat. How fitting. Kristen Stewart, she's, I'm sorry, I don't like Kristen Stewart. I really don't. And I'm not just saying that because of Twilight. I, did, I just genuinely don't think she's that good of an actress. I really don't. And this might be her worst performance, even worse than Twilight. And, of course, Naomi Scott, you went from Aladdin to this. Why? Just why? Yeah, stupid, choppy action scenes. Elizabeth Banks, just stop. S just stop. Don't do any more action movies. Yeah, and stop blaming men for your movie bombing, okay? Your movie bombed because it's trash, alright? That's all there is to it. Up next, Playmobil the movie. Oh boy, another Lego movie ripoff. Not as bad as the Emoji movie, I will say that, but still, stupid movie. Yeah, you're not the Lego movie. People need to stop trying to make another Lego movie out of these dumb, like, product placement, like, all this kid stuff, toys and all that good. Just stop with that nonsense, okay? It worked with the Lego movie. It did not work with this one. And finally, my last dishonorable mention. This is my guilty pleasure of the year, but I cannot deny it's It's undeniably awful, objectively. Six Underground. Basically, Michael Bay's wet dream. Because it has every Michael Bayism it could possibly have in the first 20 minutes of the movie. Just terrible editing, crazy over the top action sequences, explosions that look like fireworks, it sexualizes women, yeah, it portrays women as sex objects. Yeah, it's got all of that. Cheesy dialogue. It has every single one of that. But I couldn't deny I was laughing my ass off throughout the runtime, especially in the third act when Ryan Reynolds is using that magnetic pulse while they're on the boat. That was so funny. So over the top. But it was amazing at the same time. So yeah, there's all my dishonorable mentions. Let's get on to the list. Coming in at number 15, we have a movie from a franchise that I absolutely despise with a burning passion. I don't see the appeal to this franchise at all. It's a horror franchise, and I think you guys know where you're going. There's Paranormal Activity, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, The Purge, and then there's this. Ah, uh, yes. Child's Play. The remake of Child's Play, or reboot. I don't, I don't even care what it is. People, they need to stop making these movies. They really do. They suck. They're stupid. I didn't even like the original movie. I didn't really like Bride of Chucky all that much either, which some people say is the best. Seed is absolute garbage. And this one, this one might be the worst one of all. I don't know. It's between this and Seed. They're both absolutely horrible. Yeah, even Mark Hamill's not that good in this movie. Like, how do you waste Mark Hamill? Freaking Luke Skywalker, for crying out loud. But this movie found a way to do that. And by the way, yeah, they kill a cat, an innocent cat. Uh-uh. Not on my watch. Deplorable. Screw this movie. It sucks. 
That's why Child's Play is my number 15. Stop with the Chucky movies, please. Moving on to number 14, we have... Oh boy, another part of a franchise. And this one is from... The, the guy that I consider to be the Black Adam Sandler. Might be a dead giveaway, but my number 14 is... Ah yes, a Medea family funeral. <sighs> Let's hope that Tyler Perry is being for real this time and this is actually the last Medea movie. Because I'm pretty sure everybody's sick and tired of him by, by now. Yeah. Let's dress up and drag. Ha ha ha. So funny. So funny. Let's just argue and bicker nonstop, because that's so funny. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Tyler Perry. You're a hack of a director. The only time you're ever good is when you're acting in movies that have good directors, like David Fincher. That's why you were good in Gone Girl. So, yeah, I'm sure he's a nice guy in real life, but... I mean, come on, the guy's worth $600 million, and yet he says he can't afford movie critics to review his movie? Ha. Huh. Yeah, I call BS on that. So, yeah. Medea Family Funeral. Let's pray to God this is the last one for real this time. That is why it's my number 14. Coming in at number 13. Remember when I said Charlie's Angels was a feminazi movie? This is another one of those. Only instead of being an action movie, this is a remake of a horror movie. A garbage horror movie, by the way. Well, actually, it's the second remake. The first remake was garbage. This one's almost as bad, if not worse. But, yeah, I think you should. You guys should know it by now. Yeah, Black Christmas. Yeah, definitely a Black Christmas indeed when you're watching this garbage movie. So, yeah, more feminazi messages shoved down our throat, just like Charlie's Angels. Yeah, because we're women. We're women. We do things better than men do. Yeah, sorry. Who are you? Uh, Jennifer Lawrence in X-Men Dark Phoenix? Yeah, no. Get get that pretentious crap out of here. Chris. Oh, my God. The character Chris. She would not shut up about it. Yeah, like, you mess with the Ron sisters? Ha! Yeah, you mess with the Ron Christmas classic. And by that, I mean the 1970s original Black Christmas. Not the 2006 version. Yeah, the 2006 version's bad, but this movie's just as bad, if not worse. So yeah, Black Christmas, yeah, Crap Christmas, how about that? Pfft. Absolutely horrible, just absolutely horrible. Stupid ending, too. And, oh, uh, what was the name of the girl that played Riley? I forgot her name, but either way, I feel so bad. Like, she was trying her best, I will say that. But other than that, this movie absolutely sucks. So, yeah, Black Christmas comes in at number 13. At number 12, oh man, this movie, oh man, so many people are not going to be happy that this movie is on the list, but not for the reason you might think. A lot of people consider this to be the biggest guilty pleasure of the year. I've heard people say that this is the biggest guilty pleasure of the entire decade and the biggest since The Room. I've seen people compare this movie to The Room. The Room, it is not. I'm, of course, talking about... And I'm willing to admit, the first time I did watch The Fanatic, I did laugh. I was laughing at times. And even on rewatches, there are a few moments I laugh, but man, it does not hold up on a rewatch at all. John Travolta, just... You need to get your career together, dude. You really do. Because with this and Gotti last year... Oh, man, you're going downhill so fast. I mean, he hasn't... I don't think he's done a good movie since, like, Bolt, maybe? I don't even know. Has he done a good movie since then? Like, when was the last time John Travolta was in a good movie? And, of course, yeah, let's get the lead singer of Limp Bizkit, of all bands, to direct this movie, and let's just have some forced Limp Bizkit music playing throughout... There, yeah, there was a whole scene dedicated to that. It was so forced. I wanted to get up and walk out. That was not funny at all. I don't know why people think this movie's funny. I think it's really stupid. You have John Travolta, like, he just acts like a man-child the whole time. And, yeah, I know he had autism in the movie, but still. 
are you really gonna make him that are you really gonna make autistic people look that stupid I know I have friends that have autism none of them are as stupid as this guy is and then of course you have Hunter Dunbar is that what his name was that character awful 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 the fanatic is one of the dumbest movies I have seen in a long time I don't know how people think this is a guilty pleasure I will admit there are a few there are a few times where I was laughing like that's nosebleed that's bad that's really bad I was like okay that was, that's still holds up but I can't talk long I gotta poo really anyway let's let's get into my number 11 and this will be the last movie I talk about so yeah my number 11 we've seen this we've seen this movie done before so many times and like for the most part it's really trash except for maybe fatal attraction and a couple others but then you have this Uh, the Intruder. Yeah, where have we seen these dumb stalker movies before? Yeah, only about a billion times over. So yeah, Dennis Quaid. Man, he's been good in movies before, but he wasn't really all that great in this movie. And of course, you have the girl that plays Annie, aka one of the stupidest movie characters I think I've ever seen in my life. Like she was asking to get killed so many times even when she knew that she could be killed she still does it like what are you doing there was and she survives the whole movie yeah stupid oh my god and of course you have the axe scene where the guy is swinging the axe and it's like He's just making those sounds. Oh my god. Such a stupid movie. We've seen this done before so many times. Like, there's the perfect guy, no good deed, when the bow breaks. Uh, what was another one? Un Unforgettable, I think it was called. Breaking In. Oh my god. Stop with these stalker movies, please. Like, if you want to see a good stalker movie, again, watch The Fatal Attraction or The Gift. I just remember that one, The Gift from 2015, one of the most surprising movies of the year. Go watch those two movies instead of this. Trust me, it's worth it. So yes, The Intruder, dumb movie, that's why it's my number 11. Alright, and that's going to do it for the first half of this list. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you think I'm calm now, oh boy, get ready for the top 10 because I'm about to unleash hell on some of the movies in, that, in the top 10. But yeah, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming again, either tomorrow or Friday. I'm not quite sure when yet. But yeah, stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button on this video if you liked it. And make sure to comment down below. Let me know what are your worst movies of 2019 or like the first half of your worst list of 2019. Because I'll probably ask the same thing in the next video, what your worst movies of 2019 are. But yeah, comment down, let me know what you think of my list. Do you agree? Do you disagree with some of them? I'm sure some of you will disagree. Uh, but again, please be civil in the comments. That's all I ask. I don't really care if you disagree with me or not, but just don't be a dick about it, like I always say. So yeah, leave it down in the comments below what you think of my list. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more stuff to come in the future. And stay tuned for my top 10 worst movies of 2019 coming later this week. And until then, once again, my name is the California Cougar, and always remember to stay California cool. Peace.